what is ectopic pregnancy? When a fertilized egg, in other words, an egg with a sperm have combined and fertilization have happened, usually in the fallopian tube, and that fertilized egg, we may call it an embryo, in a normal circumstances, it will implant in the uterine cavity. It will implant in what we call endometrium, right? Now, when this fertilized eggs implant outside the uterine cavity, it can be on the corneal part of the uterus, just the origin beginning of the top of the uterus. It can be in any part of the fallopian tube. That means it can be in the istium, it can be in the fimbria, or any part of the tube, or it can be in the ovaries, or it can be in the abdominal cavity. That is called ectopic pregnancy, which is mean pregnancy outside the uterine cavity. According to the American Academy of Family Medicine, ectopic pregnancy usually happen one in about 50 pregnancies or 20 in a thousand pregnancies. What may be the causes of ectopic pregnancy? The causes of ectopic pregnancy mainly we're not sure or clear about, but there may be some conditions which are associated with ectopic pregnancy. This may be Typically, what we'll call inflammation and scarring of the fallopian tube. Hormonal factors, genetic abnormalities of the fallopian tube itself, or even certain birth defects of the fallopian tube may be associated with the uterine abnormalities as well, like congenital abnormalities of the uterus. Medical condition as well may be associated with ectopic pregnancy, which may affect the shape and condition of the fallopian tube and even any reproductive organ. What may be the risk factors which are important we should note which may be associated with ectopic pregnancy. Maternal age, especially above 35 years of age. History of, of pelvic surgery, that can be any surgery, surgery for endometriosis, surgery for ovarian cyst, surgery for any inflammatory condition in the pelvis, or even appendix itself. History of Pelvic inflammatory condition, which is an infection, usually which spread up into the abdomen and cause inflammation and scarring. Endometriosis as well, it's a condition which is really associated with ectopic pregnancy, which is known to cause the scarring or the scarring of the fallopian tube and even inflammation. Pregnancy with an intrauterine device or post-tubal ligation or even post-surgery like tubal reversal. Conception by any fertility medication or even drugs like IVF. Smoking is highly associated with ectopic pregnancy. A history of STI or STDs and a tubal reversal surgery, which I talked about lately. What are the symptoms of ectopic pregnancy? How can Firstly, you'll have a history of amenorrhea or whereby you didn't see your periods and probably you do some pregnancy test which confirm that you are definitely pregnant. And at that time, you may develop certain symptoms. A sharp pain, usually unilateral, left or right in the pelvis, shoulder pain, 
severe pain on one side of the abdomen, vaginal splotting, brownish discharge, dizziness and fainting, and even some rectal pain. When we develop these symptoms, it's very important that you suspect that I may have ectopic pregnancy. And the most important thing is to see your physician so that a proper diagnosis can be established. How can I diagnose ectopic pregnancy? The most important thing, it will be a history of a missed period. You didn't see your menstrual period that month. Abdominal tenderness, especially when you do a transvaginal ultrasound, an empty uterus with either a mess on the left or right, or even blood in the abdomen, a beta ACG level which is low positive, and a low HP which is telling us that you are internally bleeding. And this is an agent situation with need and immediately an agent attention. How to treat ectopic pregnancy? Ectopic pregnancy can be treated either conservatively with a very strict follow-up and a very strict contact with that particular patient with a good transport form to the medical center in case the situation change. The second Method, it can be treated, it's medical treatment, especially methotrexate, following a sample criteria, especially it should be less than six weeks. There shouldn't be any blood in the uterine, I mean blood in the abdomen or above the bladder. There shouldn't be any sign of low or anemia, and the patient must be stable and the follow-up must be clear, and the patient must be able to understand the instruction fully. The third method, it can be surgery. In that surgery, it can be laparoscopic surgery. Laparoscopically, you can do what is called salpingostomy, or you can even do the milking of the tube so that you don't damage the chip, but you remove the product of conception. In that case, you are literally doing what we call mechanical miscarriage or removing the product of conception in the tube without damaging the tube. Or you can do total salpingectomy, especially if the larger part of the tube is actually involved and then is damaged and sometimes it has ruptured. Because in that case, though that tube is damaged already and then if you don't remove it, you increase the chances of being ectopic in the same tube again. Then laparotomically, or laparotomy in which you open the abdomen, you probably can do what is called salpingectomy, which is also removing part of the tube. Thank you.